Hey everyone, in this video we'll be solving this problem uh, from Pathfinder. Check your understanding under the NLM topic. So a block of mass M is suspended in an elevator the help of three identical light elastic cords. So these are elastic cords by the way. One of them is tied to the ceiling and the other two are tied to the floor of the elevator as shown in the figure. When the elevator is stationary, the tensile forces in each of the lower cords is 7.5 Newton. We have to answer like four questions. So the first question is that for what acceleration of the lift will the lower cords become relaxed? We'll answer those one by one. So, so if I draw the FBD of the mass M, so the forces are going to be its weight of 150 Newton downwards. Okay, so now let's say the extensions in these two strings are X. So these strings would pull the mass M downwards. So the net force is going to be 2kx and let's say the extension in the upper string is y. So it's going to pull the block ky. So initially as these are in equilibrium, we can say ky should be equal to 2kx plus 150. And also it is given that the tensile force in each of the lower chords is 7.5 newtons. kx would be equal to 7.5 newton. Now. Question number one is that for what acceleration of the lift with the lower cords become relaxed? So when let's say the lift accelerates upwards with a with rate of A, when will these two strings be relaxed? It will be relaxed when this block moves down by an amount of X, because in that case, these strings uh, would go back to their natural length, right? So, so as a result of this lift accelerating, if this mass M moves down by an amount of X, then these two strings would become relaxed. Now, as the mass M moves down by an amount of X, the upper cord extends by an amount of X. So now if we again draw the FBD, so the tension in this string is going to be zero. Again, in this string is also, it's going to be zero. And the tension here will be K multiplied by X plus Y now. And there will also be, we also have to apply a pseudo force if you're standing inside the elevator. So now again, this is at rest. So we can write ma will be equal to k times of x plus y okay so now as we determine as it's given that kx was 7.5 if we substitute it in our first equation so ky will be 165 newton we can write k times x plus y must be equal to ma plus the weight of the block 150 newton and the value of kx is 7.5 newton ky was 165 newton plus 150 and from here we'll get the value of ma to be 22.5 Newton and acceleration comes out to be 1.5 meters per second square. Okay, so if the elevator is accelerated up by an amount of 1.5 meter per second square, elastic cords are relaxed. So that would be the answer to the first question. Now, if it's given that the acceleration of one meter per second square, so then we have to determine how much tensile force will develop in the upper cord. Now the FBD in this case would be, the elevator is moving up with an acceleration of one meter per second square now. So if we apply the pseudo force, it's going to be 15 Newtons. The weight of the block is 150 Newton. And let's say as a result, uh, the block descended by an amount of A. Now as the block descended by an amount of A, the tensile force here will be K times. Initially the extension was Y, now it will be Y plus A. And the tensile forces uh, on the bottom strings is going to be K times Y minus A, K times X minus A. So like since the acceleration is less than 1.5 meters per second square, which we determined in the last question, there will be extension in the bottom string. So we have to take that into account as well. Now balancing all the forces, we get 165 equals, okay, so 165. Now Kx was 7.5, so twice of it will be 50. Ky is 165 Newton plus 3Ka. So from here, we'll get the value of Ka to be 5 Newton. So now they ask the tensile force in the upper chord. So that would be K into Y plus A. Ky was 165 Newton and Ka is 5 Newton. And the answer is 170 Newton. Now moving on to the next problem. The next problem, the acceleration of the elevator is 2 meter per second square now. The acceleration of the elevator is 2 meters per second square. Okay, so now in this case, uh, the let's say the block moves down by an amount of B. So in this case, clearly the tensions on this cord is going to be zero because th this string is going to slack and the tensile force here will be K times Y plus B. The pseudo force is going to be 30 Newtons and the weight of the block is going to be 150 Newton. If you balance all the forces, you'll get K times Y plus B, which is also our required answer of the tensile force in the upper cord will be 180 Newton. 
and coming to the last question we need to find the acceleration for which the upper chord will become relaxed now if we want the upper chord to relax so this was the initial condition so if we want the upper chord to be relaxed we want the mass m to ascend by an amount of y right and for that the elevator needs to move down with some acceleration let's say a so now again balancing all the forces so the pseudo force will be 15 times a and the weight of the block is going to be 150 newton and the tensile forces in these two strings is going to be k times of x plus y so now again balancing the forces we'll get 15 a and from here we'll get the acceleration a to b so the elevator needs to accelerate down by an amount of 33 meters per second square if the upper chord has to get relaxed so that was it for this problem guys if you have any doubts you can comment down below and thanks for watching